Hello students, today we will be going over 10.4 elimination skills. This is on page 198 in your blue packet. Our objective, I can solve a system of equations with eliminations. The elimination method of solving systems uses algebraic properties to eliminate a variable from the system. The result is a one-step equation to solve the remaining variable. Then substitution is used to find the still unknown variable. Next, a vocabulary. A zero pair is used to eliminate a variable. A zero pair is a pair of values whose sum is zeros. Examples, 9 plus negative 9 is 0, x plus negative x is 0, and negative 5y plus 5y is 0. So we want you to create zero pairs here. So we have 9x plus something is 0. What do we add to that? Negative 9x. And we're done. Next, we go on to the next one, and we think, what is the opposite of negative 3x? You say, oh, well, the opposite of negative 3x is positive 3x. So then we just put 3x here. Next, we go on to number 5. You can do those other ones, and it has a 3x and a 6x. And we say, what do we do with those two? Well, we have to find a multiple of those two. And we say, okay. What is a multiple of 3 and 6? All right, 3 goes into 6 evenly, so it would be 6. So we're going to multiply this by a negative 2, and we're going to get negative 6x, so that when we add it to this 6x, we get 0. So again, we want to make sure we find our least common multiple if they're not already opposites, and we need to make one opposite. Okay, so next on number 6, we have negative 4x and 3x. And we say, what is a common multiple of 4 and 3? And we can say it's 12. So we're going to multiply this side by 4 and get 12x. And we're going to multiply this by 3. And we're going to get negative 12x. So we can see that negative 12x plus 12x equals 0. So we're going to use those properties to solve um, these equations. Some systems already have a zero pair for one variable. Others require you to use the multiplication property of equality, that's you finding the least common multiple there, uh, to create a zero pair. Number one, find the least common multiple of the coefficients. Remember, coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables um, that you want to eliminate. Multiply all terms in the equation so the coefficients on the variable you want to eliminate are the zero pair of the least common multiple. So we go on to number 7, and it says eliminate x. So if we're going to eliminate x, we need opposites. If we add these two together right now, 9 plus 9, we get 18. So we need to change one of them. I'm going to go ahead and change the second one, and I'm going to multiply all of these by a negative 1. When I do that, this becomes negative 9x, this becomes plus 8y, and this becomes positive 29. Then when I add them together, I eliminate this 9x, and I'm left with 10y equals, is it 16? One's positive, one's negative there. So... That's how we eliminate x. And we don't have to finish solving the problem. We just need to make sure we can eliminate our x like it said. So um, again, here we're going to eliminate y. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply. Let's multiply the bottom one by a negative 1. And I probably should have written it all out over again over there. Here I will go ahead and write it out. So I'm writing the upper equation. Now I'm going to write the lower equation multiplied by a negative 1. So basically, when you multiply by a negative 1, you switch all the signs. And again, it's every single term you have to change it. See how this is positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative. Now, if they're eliminated, they should be opposites. So that goes away. 5 minus 2x is 3x. 
equals 6 minus 15 is negative 9 there. Okay. All right. So next we're going to go on to number 9 where it says eliminate y. Now we say what's our least common multiple here? 9. So we need, here's a 9y. We need that to be a negative 9y. So it's opposite of that one. So I'm going to take this whole thing and multiply it by 3. And again, it has to be multiplied by every term. And let's see, that was um, 18x plus 9y equals 9. I kind of erased it with my hand, I think. So I'm going to rewrite this one down here, and then I'm going to add the two, two equations straight down. 3 times 9 is 27x. 3 times negative 3y is negative 9y. And 3 times 15 is 45. So now I can disregard the first equation and I add these ones straight down. I make sure I have opposites so that can go away. I eliminated my y. 18 and 27, I believe, is 45x. And then 45 plus 9 is, what, 54? And again, I don't have to solve it. I just have to show that I eliminated y. And I'm done with that part. Okay. Next, I'm going to go on to the next page and do, actually, I'm going to do the same page. I'm going to do 11 and 12. Here it says I'm going to eliminate X. So I say, what is the least common multiple? Now on the other ones, I only had to change one equation. Here, I'm going to have to change both because 3 doesn't go into 10 evenly. And I say, what is the least common multiple between 10 and 3? And if you can't think of any, just multiply the two together. 10 times 3 is 30. And that actually is going to be our least common multiple. So with that one, I'm going to go ahead and multiply this by 3. And that will give me negative 30x. And then this one, I'm going to multiply by 10, and this will give me positive 30x. Now I have to multiply every term by that. So I go 3 times this, and again, this is going to be right down here. And then I'll take the second one and put it down below. So the first one is negative 30x. 3 times 5 is 15y equals 15 times 3 is 45. Okay, so now I multiply the second equation by 10, and I get 30x plus 30y equals negative 180. Okay, so now I've eliminated my x, I bring these down, and I get 45y equals, and I don't know what 45 minus 180 is, but let's see what it is. Take our handy dandy calculator. 45 minus 180, negative 135. Okay. Um, so again, we don't have to finish solving this. So we can just leave it right there. All right, number 12. It says eliminate y. So we have eight these two equations. So if we're going to eliminate y, 6 and 9, what is the common, the least common multiple of those two? Well, if I go 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 9, 18, oh, 18. So we want to get to 18y. We want a positive 18y and a negative 18y. Oh, look, these are already opposites. So this one. To get to 18y, I need 3. And this one, again, that'll be net negative 18y. This I want positive 18y, so I'm going to multiply that by 2. So I'm going to take this top equation, and I'm going to say 3 times 8, and again, 24x minus 18y equals 3 times 18, I believe, is 54. If I'm wrong, well, you can multiply. And then I take the second one, 2 times 
this all the way down here, 2 times 7 is 14x plus 18y equals 24. Now again, when I add them together, I should be able to eliminate one of the variables, and it tells us y on that one. So then I get 38x equals, I believe, 78, and um, we don't have to solve the rest from there. That's all we had to do, okay? All right, number 17. This is going to be on page 199. Now once you've created a zero pair, you use the addition property of equality to add the equations. This will eliminate one of the variables, and you solve for the remaining variable. So we're going to... Number 17. Oh, that's way... Let's do one of them 13 or 14 first. So I'm going to go ahead and do 13. Oh, that one's a little bit easy. Um, so if I have 9x plus 2y equals negative 13, and then I have negative 9x minus 8y equals negative 29. Basically what it says, you're going to add these together, and I get negative 6y equals negative 42, and y equals 7. Now, once we have the answer, we need to plug it back into one of the original equations. I'll put it into the top one, and we get 9x plus 2 times 7 is 14. So again, that's 2 times 7 equals negative 13. And I go minus 14. So 9x equals negative 27. Divide by 9 and x equals negative 3. So your final answer is negative 3 comma 7. Okay, so I on 17, I'm going to jump to there where we're just taking this 7. We're going to put it in there, and we say negative 8x plus 28 equals 28 minus 28. Negative 8x equals 0. Divide by negative 8. x equals 0. So then we get our solution is 0, comma, 7. We don't need to plug anything back in because it already tells us y is 7. Okay? All right, students, you can get the rest of this. You rock.